Well, now that you've got her all emotional, let's <laughs> see if Jess can do the weather. <laughs> I know. I was just like, oh, Lindsay's getting me with this story. That was amazing. Great. I know. We had the story. waterworks going this morning, but you know, outside it was nice that there wasn't a lot of snow in Thompson for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was nice, Lindsay. It was cold. My tears uh, might freeze outside, I guess. <laughs> it's still chilly. Um, out there tonight as well. Uh, a couple snowflakes, of course, in far southern Maine earlier today, but Boston saw over three inches of snow. It's their earliest uh, snowfall, or the three inches is the earliest three inches, I should say, on record for October. So uh, lots of snow there. We didn't quite get it in our area, though. Skies are clearing out tonight. And as we go through the overnight hours tonight, temperatures are going to cool off quite a bit. Most of us tomorrow will start in the upper teens and lower 20s. So you'll definitely notice it if you're up and about uh, early tomorrow morning. 34 right now in Bangor. Portland's at 35. Same thing for Waterville and Augusta Lewiston currently at 36. We thought it was time to dust off this little graphic. Remember this wind chills. This is what it feels like out there right now. Not a big difference, of course, uh, today, but as we go through the weekend and definitely into next week, too, we'll be using this graphic more. It feels like 26 right now in Bangor and feels like just 27 degrees out there in Portland. Okay, so tonight into early tomorrow, skies clear out nicely. We will see plenty of sunshine tomorrow. It's going to be a nice and bright first half of the weekend, but it's going to be chilly. These temperatures will actually be much lower as we head into tomorrow morning. We'll look at that graphic in just a second, upper teens and lower 20s to start the day. And as we go into tomorrow afternoon, things are going to struggle to warm up. Most of us only make it into the low 40s by tomorrow afternoon. Afternoon, around 40 in Bangor and around 42 for a high tomorrow in Portland. Tomorrow evening, things cool right back down and it's going to be another chilly start to the day on Sunday. Not quite as cold though. A couple showers around for the day Sunday as well. Uh, temperatures will be able to warm up a little bit more, but it's going to be cloudy gray. Plus, we'll see those showers around through Sunday afternoon and into Sunday evening too. Again, Saturday morning, tomorrow morning, this is where we'll start around 22 in Bangor and around 25 in Portland, so be ready if you're up and about early. Yeah, you're gonna need a jacket or two. Seas three to five feet for tomorrow, winds from the north, five to 10 knots gusting up to around 20 knots. So again, a very chilly first half of the weekend, but it's gonna be nice and bright. We'll change the clocks back an hour Saturday, Saturday night into Sunday. More clouds around for the day on Sunday, but at least temperatures will be a little bit more comfortable. Some showers move in as we go through the day on Sunday too. As we go into early next week, Temperatures will be okay on Monday, upper 40s for most of us. We'll see some showers transition to some snowflakes by Monday afternoon, but then it's breezy on Tuesday. And notice the temperature is only around 40 degrees, so we'll be talking about the wind chill again. But look at the end of next week, upper 50s, lower 60s, guys. There's some main weather for you there. And no snow or freezing rain or anything on Election Day, which is also a good thing. Yes, definitely good. All right, thank you, Jess. Thanks.